let us discuss another very typical and very common problem in this formal language. The problem here is like this. Determine the grammar G where L of G is equal to a to the power of n, b to the power of n, c to the power of n where n is greater than or equal to 1. That means I shall be having a all a's at the same place then b will be coming all b then c will be coming there will be no mixture of a b c but a b c all of them will have the same number of occurrences. So, how to solve this one? So, let us go for the solution. Okay. Now, see if n is equal to 3 then then my word will be my sentence will be a a a b b b and c c c which is quite equivalent to a cube b cube c cube. Now, I shall have to solve it. So, here the value of n is equal to 3. Let us apply let us apply s produces a s b c for n minus 1 number of times then what will happen. So, here value of n is equal to 3. So, n minus 1 will be equal to 2. So, see. So, if you apply S produces A S B C here B and C both are in capital letters mind it. So, S will be producing A S B C this S can be replaced by A S B C. So, this A is this one, this B C are this one. So, A S B C. So, I am having this one. Okay. Now, now apply S produces A B C once here. So, I shall get A A A they were already there. So, this S will be replaced by A B C and this B C B C they were already there. So, A A A B C B C B C in this way I have got it in this way I have got it. Now, I shall do something uh, new now because you see A's have got clubbed but B and C they are not uh, adjacent B's are not adjacent C's are not adjacent. Then now C B produces B C this particular production rule we shall apply for multiple number of times so, then what will happen just see. I was having I am writing the same sentential form here. So, I am writing this one if I write here S then I shall put their start because from S after applying multiple time production rules I am getting this. So, I am just writing the same same line here again. Now, you see for each and every occurrence of C B will be replaced by B C. So, here we are having 1 C B that will be replaced by B C. Here we are having 1 C B that will be replaced by B C and this C B will be replaced by B C. So, I am not showing the intermediate sentential form I am going for the final one. So, obviously, I should put here start following the grammar G. I can write this one as A A A b b b and capital C capital C capital C b b b and c c c in this way I can write. So, S produces star and this g a a a b b b and c c c in this way we can write. Okay. Now, see we shall apply now we shall apply a b produces a b then what will happen this particular a b will be replaced by a and small b. So, I am writing this one as so a a a small b so capital B capital B and 3 times capital C. Now, now b b produces b b is to be applied for multiple number of times then what will happen we had s produces multiple time production rule from S following the grammar G we, we are having this one I am just write rewriting this one again. So, now this B B will become and this B B will become capital C capital C capital C in this way. Okay. Now,
small c now apply small b capital C produces small b small c now apply this one then what will happen it will be it will become replaced so we shall have from s following the grammar g we shall have a a a already they were there b b b they are already there and that b c b capital c will become b small c and 2 capital c will remain okay now now apply small c capital c produces small c small c multiple times then we shall get a a a b b b this c c will be replaced by small c c so it will become small c small c capital c so now i shall go for a a a b b b this small c capital c will be replaced by small c small c so c were already there so i'm getting another two small c's so which is equivalent to a cube b cube c cube so in this way i can easily derive this particular grammar so now let us mark what are the production rules we have used throughout first production rule we have used this one then we have used this one then coming to this then we have used this one okay so this one okay now we went for this then we went for this one and the last one is this one so now to define the grammar we should have to write them uh, under p so let me define the grammar now so g is equal to so this is my respective grammar so this is my respective grammar so we are having this vn vtps so vn is equal to s b capital s capital b capital c you can check that we didn't use capital a anywhere so i should not write capital a here so uh, vt terminals are b a b c obviously they are the terminals and these are the production rules we have used this production rules we have used for n minus 1 number of times this production rule we use for uh, say one times in this way other this production will use for uh, one times and this production will use for n minus 2 number of times in this way we use all this respective production rules and i have written them under the set p set of productions and s is a start symbol in this way the grammar can be defined so whenever such problem will come please take one word or sentence as an example as i did as i did and then try to explain it logically please don't apply the production rules like capital b produces small b and capital c produces small c i'm telling you so here we are having this one here you apply capital b is equal to small b and capital c is equal to small c obviously right then i can get a a a b b b c c c so i can say that it is a successful completion of my parsing but that thing can also be applied here also here also you can write b produces small b and c produces small c then obviously that is not making this string so that's why i should i should derive that grammar which can produce only this string not like this that the grammar whatever i i shall be suggesting can produce multiple strings out of them one is this that should not be the grammar which has been asked for you should design that grammar you should make the production rules you should make the vnvtps accordingly so that the grammar will be capable to make only this sentence only not any other sentence so that's why i had to use this one if capital b is being preceded by small b then this will a and b will be coming so that is the way to write the respective production rules i think you are getting this logic i think after solving all these problems we are getting confidences to face some unknown problems which might be coming in our exams coming exams thanks for watching this video